I'm speaking with Ted Bear. This is the big night every year, the Movie Guide Awards. He's been doing these for uh, 18 years now. Ted, first of all, I, I remember going to your very first one. It was a press conference, I think, in, in uh, Hollywood. Just That's a few true. It was there. at the press club. And then you went and it, on. And it was packed. That's what I was amazed about. I told Duffy who was your friend and my yeah. friend who suggested it and Templeton who uh, who wanted us to give away an award I said you know nobody's gonna come to this thing and Duffy said do these charts <laughs> so we did charts on newsprint yeah. do you remember that yeah, and I actually yeah. flipped the charts and then I showed people on newsprint they were the silliest charts I can remember them. but it was packed and I met some of my best friends from the industry there like Barry Reardon and uh, yeah. people who became close close friends and I remember one of them Russell Schwartz, who became the head of uh, New Line Publicity, and who did uh, the Nativity Story, yeah. and is now you know tra transitioning as everybody does in the business, yeah. said that he was so crowded he was looking in around the corner, yeah. and it just it, I didn't know that everybody wanted to find out about the faith-based market about Christians. Now, who would have believed now that you're in your 18th uh, hmm. event? How has how has Hollywood changed since you first began? Well, Hollywood when we started doing the movie guide there was only one movie with positive Christian content last year it was 43 percent of the movies which is quite incredible and this year it's over 54 percent of the movies and you know they keep making more money every year I think there's all these figures I think are gonna are gonna bottom out you know I believe that somewhere inside of me I've been taught the law of supply and demand that somehow when you get enough Christian movies they're gonna saturate the market but they keep doing well so they keep, when you put faith and values in blindside, it keeps surprising everybody and everybody gets shocked by it. So I'm happy. Next, this year is our best figures yet. It's the longest run of good movies doing better at the box office. It's more people coming than we've ever had before. There, there's nothing but positive remarks. And if you're here, we're blessed. <laughs> Finally, what would you like to say to people watching this who maybe have criticized Hollywood over the years? What would be your word to them? Well, there, there are two groups in the church, and one, you know, it's right to, to criticize the bad. Let's let's say that. And also there's a group like my son who doesn't watch TV, <laughs> my daughter, because they made a bet. So I'm not against those people. Yeah. You know, if that's the position they take, I mean, I think that's great if they have the self-discipline. And But a lot of people are immersed in the media, a lot of people more than they should be, and a lot of people go in the opposite direction and just watch anything. Yeah. So be careful. You know, the Bible says all things in moderation. And I think that moderation point should be that you choose the good and reject the bad. Time is short. Just, you know, seeing you here, it's great to be with you. It's, we need time for people. We need time for our families. To see your son there is delightful. We need time to do more than be saturated by everything that comes out. So just moderation between one extreme and the other. Now, if you're the type of person who never watches a television program, like my son and daughter, okay. And if you're the type of person who watches everything, you know, I'd, I'd say you, you might want to get some help. <laughs> How can people pray for you? Oh, they can pray that we do uh, well tonight, that we lift up God. You know, this is not about us. We've had our Emmy Award for The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe back in 79. Yeah. This is about everybody here. We're trying to lift them up, to encourage them, and help them know the truth of Jesus Christ. It'll set them free.